The oncologic practice in Decatur is a very progressive uh, practice that services a large portion of central Illinois. That uh, oncology practice was founded by my father in 1968. He provided the groundwork for us to be progressive in how we approach medicine. PET bone scan, it's where you get the anatomic data from a CT scan and you get the physiologic data from uh, the PET agent, in this case it would be sodium fluoride, and see exactly anatomically where it localizes to with use of the CT scan that's done in conjunction with it. Well, with conventional bone scan, uh, you're looking at a time frame of basically four hours versus with a sodium fluoride bone scan, you're looking at about an hour and a half total. We're going from a standard dose of 25 to 30 millicuries to a lower dose of 10 millicuries. The count rate is the most important thing. Uh, the more counts you receive, the higher information you get, the higher resolution you have. The sodium fluoride bone scan takes it into a whole new level. We have found with the sodium fluoride bone that we can use it in any oncologic patient because it does both blastic and lytic metastases. It really represents a large leap in uh, what we can do to detect the movement of cancer to other parts of the body. I think they're pretty pleased with, with what they've seen as far as the imaging. We've been involved with the NOPAR trial. That's how we are getting reimbursed for our sodium fluoride bones, and we have had no difficulty in reimbursement for our oncologic cases. Now, I remember a patient who was having a lot of diffuse pain, and all the other scans, they were not really successful. We decided to order an F18 scan, and the F18 scan really showed many diffuse bone metastases. Having that information really did help us um, take the next step forward.